The indicated operation in this problem is subtraction, so we have a fraction, we'll need to have a common denominator. You might recall that if a number is just a constant, you can write it over 1. So our least common denominator in this case is going to be z minus 5. We will use that information to help us rewrite these fractions appropriately. So we will multiply by some form of 1 to help us get a denominator of z minus 5 for each fraction. To get a denominator of z minus 5 in this first fraction, we need to multiply by z minus 5. So we will do so in the numerator as well. We already have z minus 5 here, so we'll multiply by 1 over 1. Now, multiplying each of these pieces, we'll have 3 times z minus 5 all over z minus 5 minus 5z over z minus 5. Now that we have common denominators, we can actually proceed with subtracting the numerators. We will have 3z minus 15 minus 5z. We can simplify that. 3z minus 5z is negative 2z minus 15 all over z minus 5. We have a negative and a negative, which typically we don't want to leave a large amount of negatives in the problem. So we can divide out a negative 1 in front, and so we'll have 2z plus 15 all over z minus 5.